What up guys, welcome back, James here, aka The Pump, and today we're going to continue on with our series of unsponsored, unfucked with videos about clothes and which ones I prefer. And today we're going to talk about shoes. And like anything else, I still prefer a minimalist feel, I said that a million times now, but with shoes I do get slightly more luxurious, no I don't want to say luxurious, but more relatively louder. And so I guess this would be a more interesting conversation because like anyone else, well at least anyone else in Southern California, I grew up with like Superstar 2s, Adidas Superstar 2s back in middle school, then went into the whole Vans phase and up through college, I don't even remember where I actually were, but I had a pretty standard like history in shoes, but I've never been super interested or like to the hype beast level, like never been interested in Jordans in any way or any of those like futuristic warrior fucking straps for days like kind of shoes, just that's just not my thing. And more recently, I really settled on what I want to wear, or not what I want to wear forever, but I kind of settled on something, which are drivers. Essentially, like loafers, moccasins, more like they're specifically drivers in that they don't have like a hard sole. They're typically, they have these pebbles and a really flexible sole. And so they're really like comfortable, really light, and also, a symbol of status. I mean, let's just be honest here. I'm going to be frank with you guys. I mean, shoes are a big thing. I mean, growing up, it was very different from what it is now, what I've um, gotten to now. And so, borrowing, like, not borrowing, but like getting hand me downs from my brother was always a thing. And being made fun of for like run down shoes, like fucked up shoes, was not a commonplace thing, but it wasn't foreign to me as well. And so, to this day, whether I like to admit it like consciously or verbally or not, it's like ingrained within me that like shoes are a status item. And so unfortunately or fortunately, whatever, however you interpret it, this is what it's become. I mean, this is what I wear on the daily. I mean, drivers, because they not only like reek of like status, but also they're super comfortable, they're easy to wear. and they're not heavy, both visually and like physically. Um, and they are base, basics and essentials to me, but in no way would I ever recommend these to you guys as basics and essentials. I wouldn't even recommend you guys to even buy them. These are Tots. I chose them because as one of the founders and or creators of the drivers, like they have top notch quality, but you're, you're paying like 300 to 600 a pop. And so these are the Tots like uh, Leo clamps, I believe. And these are some just some like suede penny loafers. And these are their like, whoops, like leather tie, still wax suede, like drivers. I mean, but like the braids itself, like which I'll show you in two seconds, but like the braids themselves are amazingly like nice and the details are all there. But it also not true if I treat them like shit, I just, wear them for whatever, walking the dog, I'll wear them. Like going grocery shopping, I'll wear them. And yeah, but let's give you guys a closer look at them. Typically, I'll wear them with socks, extremely, extremely low cut socks like these. It's the only way to still wear socks, not have your feet get all stinky and not let them show at all though. So, I mean, these are them. They're super easy to wear. They look nice, they're super comfortable, and they're flexible, and I mean, in all truth, I wear them like anything else. They look nice to me, I like them, and the leather is unbelievably supple, has a beautiful sheen to it, and I mean, yeah, these are drivers, there's not much to, like, to really say, minus the fact that like they're super simple, they're unbelievably luxurious, and yeah. I like. But of course, these aren't the only shoes I own. I mean, obviously, you guys seen with like the other pictures on Instagram, I also have my fair share of Nikes, actually probably like over t 10 pairs of like fly knits and like a few other random things. But those aren't like shoes I wear in the regular. Those are literally when I go hiking, 
like when I went to Fort Funston today or when I go running, like fly nets are the choice for me because my feet are really like small, yet they're also wide. And so the fly nets actually really cater extremely well to my feet shape. Um, but yeah, I mean like either way, like drivers just, in truth, I'll be honest with you guys, a big reason why I wear them is to basically kind of like them to be a slap in the face, uh, especially in the face of like people who kind of like people from old money because there are these certain things in like the design world, especially growing up in, with, in like the Vietnamese and American community, there are like <laughs> the older generation is completely obsessed with like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, all these like old Italian designer names, which I honestly treat only as a joke. But we, or that older generation looks up to those, they aspire to that because that's what they've always been told. That's what they've been told is status, which always has always come from old money. And to be able to wear this, yet be young, reckless, and most importantly, like colored, I believe to be a very satisfying way for me to basically just slap the face of like some old, like old money, old wasp money. And so that's like a huge underlying thing, whether it makes sense to you or not, or whether it even is effective in that way. It's an underlying thing that like is like going through my head. In truth, there's a lot of things going through my head. But anyways, back to the whole shoe conversations, despite all that, like drivers to me just have a nice clean look to them. Nike specifically, the fly knits and pushing more towards like the heavy grays and the crazier like rainbow colors for some reason just catch my eye. Plus fucking Nike industrial design is always on point. And I guess just for some cool other facts, what I plan to get in the future are the Comme de Garçon Converse's. Um, I always used to be whatever about them, but I saw uh, one of my homies got a pair and they actually look pretty nice. So I plan to pay, possibly pick them up as like a joke ass shoe or just something I wear when I don't want to think too much. Um, but I mean, yeah, so that is my basics and essentials for shoes. I don't think you guys should freaking even like consider these to be your basics and essentials. You can basically borrow like some concepts, but I would not recommend it like at all. This is me being perfectly honest and stuff. It's just decisions I've made myself for my own personal reasons. But yeah, so hopefully you guys been able to at least like infer something from this video. If not, maybe next time. And I'll be thinking about what kind of topic I wanted to touch on with the next video. So peace out guys. And I'll see you again.